Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm going to you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one. Take rip. This is not a review. See, I'm trying to over speed through stuff. This is a trailer reaction. So we got the second trailer for Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I'm pretty sure it's actually more. The title's longer than that, but I just showing the down still. Yeah, we got the second trailer for it. The first trailer didn't wow me enough. Uh, there was some stuff I didn't like about the first trailer. Some stuff I definitely did like. It's still DC, still Harley Quinn. I had to get jazzed. But let's see what this second trailer here for y'all. It's enough talk. We're talking more after the trailer, man. Let go. Oh, she destroyed ice chemicals. And soon enough, I was back on my feet. <laughs> ready to embrace the fierce goddess within. <laughs> it's what is that? so Jeez. quiet. Now that I've cut tight with Mr. J, I'm about to learn that a lot of people want me to uh, hello. At the top of that list is this guy. And so peaceful. But it turns out. <laughs> That wasn't the only day in Gotham looking for emancipation. Careful! Okay, she was. After all of us, we can't just rob him. You betrayed him. You killed his BFF. What? You are so cool. You never. You're dumb enough to be building a case against him. So unless we all put aside this very unpleasant death, we're gonna have to work together. <laughs> this is better than the first one. Yeah, this is the trailer scene in the movie. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? You What is happening? It's so much happening. It's a miracle. I love it. Love it. Love it. This. Is that a hyena in a bathtub? Named in Bruce after the Hunky Wayne guy. Yes. Yes. This should have been the first trailer. This now I'm sold, completely sold. Harley's being Harley, and like everybody, ah, ah, I really, really like this trailer. This was a good trailer. Finally, a good, another stuff I've been seeing just actually had me like hype for it. Do got an issue with the Black Mask though. We'll say that because in the all the other iterations, I get it. This is me, you know, what I'm saying bringing you know, in my comics, listening to it. He was able to talk with the black mask. It wasn't just something. I know he's something he put on, but like still, I, I kind of wish like his mouth was able to move with it on. You know what I'm saying? I can, eh, that's just a little nitpick, to be honest. Hopefully he starts. He he gets to a point where he just only puts it on. Maybe his face gets scarred or something. He puts it on just for permanently. But this trailer was good, man. The the canary cry. You get to see Huntress doing some stuff like Huntress. I don't know too much of Huntress. Uh, I know the two uh, storylines that I read in comic. Well, two comics that I read that I'm pretty sure she was like pretty much in were uh, uh, Battle for the Cow and uh, she was in Hush. I know not not the movie, but she. If you read the comics, it was her in the uh, in the comic that showed up. So yeah, I'm. This definitely went the way I, I wanted it to. Um, it, it, I think the Joker stuff is gonna be very very early in the film. Probably maybe first five ten minutes where like, hey, she's going through that. She she probably starts off with her getting dumped by the Joker, which we've seen a million times. If we just being honest, it's 
we know what that relationship, well, we know what that relationship used to be. We don't know what it's going to be in this type of family. You know, like her leaving the joint because she heard the joint H Chemicals is letting her know, like, hey, this is where it all starts for him and for her. Him just and her, well, this, this is where this, it started for her in this iteration. In the comics, I don't remember her going to like Ace Chemicals and stuff like that. But nonetheless, still happens, you know. Uh, she destroyed that. That's pretty symbolical. Like, hey, she's off on her own. And now, I guess, I don't, it, did Joker drop the hit on her to get, like, Black Mass to kill her? And then we all, we also see that, like, hey, how can Sandra Kane come to be involved? Because he stole the diamond. She stole the diamond from him. We see uh, Black Canary apparently used to work for him, which is going to be a very interesting storyline that they explore. Huntress kills him, which is not surprising. Hunter kills one of the people. And Renee Matoy is somebody who's um, building a case against him, which probably people in Gotham like, hey, this is probably not the best idea. Nonetheless, she's doing it. So you see how the group comes together and, and the fact that like Harley's like, yeah, I needed somebody, something to do. I'm kind of like lost right now. The, the, the part where she sniffs the cocaine and just like all in the face. It's like, and I think this is an R-rated film, so... I'm hoping we're going to get this, they're going to utilize that, not just a whole bunch of F-bombs and stuff like that. I need to actually see, like, maybe somebody get their head cut off and somebody hardly plays, throws it up and hits it with the baseball bat. I know I'm asking for a lot, but after seeing this trailer, I think I, I got way more confidence in this film than I think I initially had. I wasn't necessarily worried about it because I really feel like this is like a passion project for Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie, Robbie, uh, I call her Robbie. Uh, and I think she's really like invested in the character and like what this story should be because like like the whole the way the whole, everything about it came together. See the first I'm gonna say this the first trailer I didn't really do that much talking I was just like oh okay and this and that now this one like it gives me a lot more because you know what the story is about and I think it's just like a pretty much simple story it's not no world in the stuff it's pretty grounded uh, probably gonna have the GCPD involved some kind of way. Just don't see how you do it. And all this stuff is going on in Gotham with no Batman. That's the, that's literally like the only thing. It's like, this is his town. Okay, anything going on, eh, pretty sure the guy knows about it. Like, eh, but that's just, that's, that's, mm, that's not a problem. It's just like uh, the, the, what comes with Whenever you think about these superhero fans, or like they, you know, they in like a shared universe. It's like, oh, why this person can come to do this, but they don't have to come for everything. Batman can be, hey, he can be in Antarctica right now, solve some other stuff for the Justice League. Who knows? But uh, yeah, definitely a good trailer. Looking forward to this film highly. I'm gonna watch the trailer a couple more times. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. What are your expectations for the film? Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.